Is it possible to distinguish between real conspiracies and fake conspiracies? Hmm, let me try to make a distinction here. Um, there have been rumors over the years or assertions, let's say, that the United Nations is keeping soldiers in uniform in salt mines throughout America, ready to come out and take over the country. Now, if that's the case, I first heard this, I think 30 years ago, they would be hungry. The uniforms have been worn out. Um, they have become old and feeble, uh, kind of like me over the past 30 years. And uh, there seems to be no truth to that whatsoever. I mean, is the UN a hyper-governmental organization that removes some sovereignty from some countries or most countries? Well, sure. Soldiers in salt, salt mines, uh, I don't think so. Uh, food safety. Yeah, there is something to food safety. And, and that's the interesting thing about uh, rumors and uh, conspiracies is there's, there's often a scintilla of truth to it. Uh, the dyes, the sugar, the uh, high fructose content, uh, the fact that 100% natural doesn't mean it's 100% natural on labeling and all that stuff, you know, that is worrisome. Uh, the Kennedy assassination, well, you know, it's been a long, long time and uh, no deathbed confessions, uh, no hard evidence. Uh, was it a botched investigation, botched investigation of the investigations, a botched Warren Commission, a botched uh, inquiry into the morning? Yes, absolutely. Then we have uh, health. Yeah, some interesting health uh, rumors and conspiracies. Many people get enough radiation to cure an ailment that they die of the radiation. They don't die of the ailment. And that's a kind of an interesting trade-off. Um, but here is a real conspiracy, the hype machine. And this is Sanan Aral. Uh, and he talks about how social media disrupts our elections, our economy, our health, and how we must adapt. Well, Look, I'm not a technologist, but this is a very interesting book, and it is a real conspiracy. We are being manipulated by what he calls the hype machine. He uses a, an example that if you happen to look at a pair of shoes on the internet and decide not to buy them, those shoes follow you around on the internet for weeks until maybe you do buy. Now, is there a causal or is there a statistical relationship between that? Well, it depends on who you are and the shoes and the price and all that sort of stuff. But cookies do allow the so-called internet uh, to follow you around. And the uh, so-called big data does compile who you are, what you do, who you hang around with, uh, who your phone hangs around with. And then we have bots. And for the sake of this little commentary, let's call them Russian bots. Uh, send over some messages, set up fake face group groups and uh, fake other social media places to encounter others, and then find one credible person or several credible people to disseminate something that is nonsense or fake news or whatever. And that sort of two-step hypothesis allows the bot to influence an influential person who then influences a whole bunch of other people. And my punchline is, I don't want to be manipulated like that. I would like to opt out of that. That is the real conspiracy. Uh, when you don't check the information that you get on the internet, you are 40 to 60% likely to be consuming balderdash, nonsense, poppycock, etc. This is the hype machine, Sananiral. So uh, consider yourself forewarned.